All right, so how are the American goal scorers looking? Pick three out of a hat. Uh, there you see their recent production. Peafock in 2022 already, 10 goals uh, and two assists. What about Haji Wright, though? He is as of yet still uncapped. Herc, for you, has he done enough to earn a call up? Absolutely. We want goals, right? This is what you want out of your national team forward, at any forward. You can do all the little things correctly. You could be a good player uh, in between the boxes. You could give an honest shift defensively, tactically very disciplined, tactically very Q, uh, good with a high IQ offensively. But at the end of the day, if you're a nine, it's the goals. And Haji Wright is finding his form in the best possible moment. It's a World Cup year. He's 24 years of age. He's 6'3". Crazy yeah. intangibles. Can he be cleaning with his feet? Yes. Is he the best in his hold of play? No. But you look at his finishes, one-time finishes. You look at the speed. You look at the hunger. I want to score goals. That's the second straight season with double-digit goals. He did it in the Danish Super League last year. Mm -hmm. He's doing it now in the Turkish League. This is a player that has shown a penchant for scoring goals. Greg Berhalter has said it's about form in this position. It is a World Cup year. I repeat, World Cup mm. year, and he's scoring goals. Absolutely, he merits a call-up. Yeah, he scored everywhere. You mentioned Denmark. He scored for uh, Schalke's reserves when he was there. He was a superstar for the U-17 national team. Uh, boatloads of goals for them. Whether he deserves a call-up or not, I feel like that's an easy answer because anybody deserves a call-up in, in this day and age under Greg Berhalter. Used, what, almost 40 players in the qualifying cycle? Forget, that's probably something more like 50 or 60 in terms of guys that he's debuted or used throughout his entire time, but almost 40 just in the qualifying cycle. Then you add on top of it the position of need that this is, and you, you were very focused on the fact that he's six foot three, which I think is brilliant. You, you love to have a nice target. He's also versatile. He can play through the middle. He has a little bit of like winger in his game. So he's got some I speed. think it's obvious. I think it's obvious that he's going to get a call up between now and the World Cup. Real quick, give me a give me a percentage chance that he turns into the next Hercules Gomez and makes this World Cup squad come November. <laughs> uh, that's not a very quick answer. Uh, I would tell you. In my eyes, it should be a 30% chance uh, because that's about how it would happen with me. I had zero World Cup qualifying minutes, zero camps, and I made that flight. But so did a few other guys, and that's the thing. It's very eerily similar to my situation and the nine situation in 2010 World Cup to this situation now. So I'll give him a 30% chance. Wow. 30% is actually like, pretty good for a guy who has yet to have a senior national team cap. Uh, in a yeah. World Cup year. There you have it. Hercules Gomez loves the late-charging striker uh, for Qatar in Haji Rai.